welcome to Hebrew Readers Law Class. Hope you all are enjoying the day. I'm your brother Kasafo. And I'm your brother Zakwa. All right, we got it right that time. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> all right, so today we're going to talk about the law. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7 and 9. Let's get some edification on that. Let's start with Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 1, please. Now, these are the commandments, the statutes and the judgments, which Ahiah your Elohim commanded to teach you, that you might do them in the land whether you go to possess it. These commandments were given to us in hopes that when we return back to the land of our forefathers, or in any land, we'll keep them. Let's jump to verse 7, please. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So this was the commandment given for us to be diligent in good works, so that we may not forget the commandments throughout our days or life, and teach our children to serve Allah I am the same. All right, verse 8, please. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes. The word bind means join together. Mentally, we have to join the commandments with our hands so that every time we look at them, we think of the law to work righteousness by them. And if we join the law mentally with our hands, they shall be as frontlets between our eyes when we look at them, reminding us of what we're supposed to do. You have the definition of the word for bind in H7194. It's a primitive root. It means to tie. Physically, it's to gird, confine, compact, or mentally in love or league. So we're supposed to set our mind this is what we love, to love Ahaya as we know the command to love him with all our heart and to be in league with him where everything, we're in that covenant, we're focused on it. When we look upon our hands, we see the law, we view it from the law in everything we do. And that's what we're endeavoring upon. It goes on to say to bind, bind up, make a conspiracy or to conspire. So that's what we're conspiring to do. Fulfill the commandments. We're talking of them with our children. We're talking of them when we wake up, when we walk us around and everything we're doing mentally and physically in our actions. We talk of the law in our works. By what we do, we show forth the commandments. Okay? And it's for good reason. Can you read Exodus 13 and 9, please? And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hand and for a memorial between thine eyes that Ahiah's law may be in thy mouth for with a strong hand hath Ahiah brought thee out of Egypt so we see he wants us to be focused on his law and everything for a sign upon our hands and for a memorial between our eyes that his law may be in our mouth it's in all our senses it's about the law okay can you read Deuteronomy 11 and 18, please? Therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontless between your eyes. So you see, being connected, lay it up within us. Lay up the words in our heart and in our soul, and bind them, join them together in love. Make a league with these words upon our hands so that we look when we see our hands our thought is to work righteousness by them like we talked about and our eyes it's as if it says the front lips for our eyes when we close our eyes see the law <laughs> in everything right you have anything on that Zach? Well, yeah um ever since i've been implementing this law um Allah's words are true when I look at my hands and I'm like, okay, well, let me work righteousness with these hands. I'm intentional. It changes my intent. So when it says in Deuteronomy 11 and 18, where it says, uh, therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, it makes my intention of my heart to change 
where I'm actually like, okay, I'm going to work righteousness with these hands today. It makes my intention and my heart be unto the law. And it, it really works. So just really being in that mindset, it really makes you mean it. It really makes your intention be pure and be upright. So. Praise the Lamb. Praise the Lamb. All right. Deuteronomy 6 and 9, please. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. Now, this is straightforward. The scripture says you shall write them on the post of your house and thy gates. So make sure it's your property to complete this commandment and not someone else's house you're renting or an apartment you're staying in. Elohim is gracious to encourage us through reminders, even as we wear fringes to remind us to keep the law as well. Numbers 15, verse 38 to 40, please. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes on the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they may put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Ahia and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a-whoring, that ye may remember to do all my commandments and be holy unto your Elohim. Amen. Amen. So, you see, Ahaya has been gracious to put laws in place for us to help us see him and his commandments and everything and what we wear and how we view ourselves and our outlook on everything. And hopefully that helps us build and keeping his commandments. Anything else, Aqua? No. Oh, praise Allah. I am. All right. Catch y'all on the next law class. Peace be with y'all. Shalom. Shalom, everybody. HRC, 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 HRC,